and we've been getting a lot of questions from folks just talking about some of the best ways to open up PDFs and annotate on them with the panel. So let's talk about a few ways. I'm going to start with probably the easiest way to work on your PDFs from the panel, and that would be through the whiteboarding application on your home screen. So if you wanted to go ahead and bring in a PDF, uh, you actually have a couple of options because, of course, everything with new line gives you some options. So let's start with option number one here in the whiteboard. You can scan in if you're somebody that uses a Google Drive, you could scan the little QR code and you can go ahead and connect your Google Drive directly to the whiteboard. Say so very nice, it's easy, it's quick. And because you're using the QR code, it's secure so you don't have to type in your password. Everybody can see it, which is always kind of welcome, especially when you have 20 sets of eyes or more just staring at you. So you can see I quickly got signed into my Google Drive. And because I did that, it actually earned me a new icon in my toolbar, which is that little file in the cloud. And that's my cloud account. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in here. All I have to do now is choose the PDF that I want to work on with my students. So either I want to be bringing them up to the board, or maybe I have, let's see, we'll do the mazes one. Uh, I have something that I want to explain. Great thing when you import your PDF into the whiteboard, not only do you get your PDF, but now you also have unlimited space if you need to give more examples. So if you ever look out and it's just skeptical eyes, somebody's crying in the background, I would say like somebody's sweaty and they're like, oh my goodness, this is not going well. Uh, you have more room. So of course you have your endless canvas. So you could do whatever you wanted on your worksheet. And then it also affords you room to give additional examples if you needed to do so, which is really, really nice. And of course you can zoom in so if you just want to work on part of the PDF at a time, so that way people aren't working ahead or anything like that, it does give you the option to do that. So that is one option, import through your Google Drive. The next option you have to import a PDF directly into this whiteboard, of course, is our favorite three dot menu. Anytime you see three lines or three dots, then Goldilocks and the three bears, you got options to try out, see what works for you. And in this case, what's going to work for us is under add the option to bring in a document PDF. So I will go ahead and give that a little tap tap -a uh, For me, you actually have a couple of options, but I do have a thumb drive plugged in. So if you have by chance your PDF saved on a thumb drive, you can just plug that into your panel and grab it right from there. Or if it's something that you've downloaded to the panel, you could pull it from the file commander system. Uh, but in here, I have a couple of different documents. Let me bring one in. This one actually has quite a few pages. So just to kind of show you what you can do in this bad boy here. So this is a 22 page uh, kind of a full curriculum worksheet set uh, looking at math. So you can see on the bottom right, I have my navigation. It shows all of my pages and I can go back and forth between them pretty easily, which is fantastic. So any other document that I want to go into, all I have to do is just switch, but again, it's the same thing. It's an endless canvas and it brings all of my content right there. Option number one. All right, moving on. Let's talk about option number two. So we've talked about the embedded whiteboard. Another really great option that you have to annotate over your worksheets, your PDFs, is to start incorporating the New Line Engage Cloud. So with New Line Engage Cloud, this is our cloud-based whiteboarding platform. So you can access it from your computer, from the app, or from the embedded browser. So you have, you have more options. See, it just grows. Um, but browser right there on the home screen, or if you go into apps, you do have the option. You can scroll around until you find New Line Engage Cloud. It's that little light bulb with a pen. And I can go ahead and give that a tab. And I'm going to enter into teacher mode. Because maybe I want to bring in a worksheet, but I want all of my students to have the opportunity to work on it on their own. So now I am in my engage platform here, which is really, really nice. All of my tools are over on the left side. Let me go ahead and make sure I'm in my, my pen mode here. And the one that I'm going to grab is my upload icon. So if I go ahead and tap that, I have options, of course, 
Uh, so I could upload files from my computer. Since I opened this natively on the panel here, I would be opening it from whatever is on my panel. Or I could go ahead and pull things from my Google Drive as well, because I did link it with my Google Drive. But let me go ahead and just pull from the panel because that's something I have. And of course, I do have my drive plugged in uh, and synced up and linked up here, which is fantastic. But I can go in under my three lines. Anytime you see three dots or three lines, check out the options. Maybe I want to pull something from my thumb drive. So I could do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and bring in maybe some line paper or something like that. So now I have say so all the options, which is fantastic, but I brought in a PDF, which just happens to be uh, some fun primary paper, but if I wanted it to be you know, a worksheet or anything else, I could go ahead and work with it. All I need to do is just tap my pen option and I can write hello and we are happy to be here. Uh, so very easy, very simple, being able to open your PDFs and work with them straight from the panel. So those are your two, kind of easiest embedded options. Again, why I'm getting this question a lot is yes, you always have your onboard annotation tools. Uh, that's that third icon down on the Q series. But what some of you may have noticed, it inhibits that scrolling ability. So that's why we get this question. So we have our whiteboard, we have our new line Engage Cloud, and then you always can open things natively from your computer. So I'm gonna go pop into my computer environment real quick. If you have Adobe, of course, it has built-in annotations and you can do your markup natively in Adobe. If you're somebody that may not have access to that, what you can do is you can choose, you can either import your PDF directly into your Google Drive, or you could open it up natively on your computer. Uh, if you're a Microsoft person, you could open it up through Windows. So let's take a peek at both of those options. So I'm just gonna open up, I have a little animals worksheet and I'm gonna do a press and hold because that's the same thing as doing a right click. And I'm gonna click open with, and then what I can do, I'm an overzealous clicker, anybody who's been with me before <laughs> definitely knows that. So let me go back to my long press here and we'll do our right click. There we go. And I'm gonna open with, and I'm gonna choose another app. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna open this with, Word. So I can go into more apps and I can scroll down and I'm going to click on Word, then hit OK. And it's just going to do a couple of like ding dong messages because it converts. Uh, but now I have this PDF. It imports very nicely into Word for me, which is fantastic. And across the top, I do have a draw tab. So now I can annotate natively on my worksheet. It is in Word. Uh, but really nice tools available just at the click of a button. So if I wanted my students to come up, uh, they can choose all of the fun different pens and all that kind of great stuff, which is fantastic. And they can annotate right on the worksheet, which is awesome. So that is another way from your computer. Just convert it into Word very easily and make it work for you. The last option I mentioned is you can also pull it into your Google Drive. So if I want to go ahead I'm going to open my Chrome browser and I am going to get logged in to my Google Drive and then I'll be able to pull it up. And of course, you always have the option if you're somebody who uses Cami or any of those, works great. You can import a lot of your content in there and you get those built-in annotation tools. But what I'll do here, so there's that Mazes worksheet. I can go ahead and I have the option, let me go ahead and just hide my toolbar so you can see everything. I can open with, and again, right there with Cami, or I can go into my Google Docs, and it's gonna convert that worksheet into a Google document. So super handy there. So it just takes a moment, and then everything will transfer over, which is fabulous. And here, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, gonna, you kind of have some options if you wanted to do that, but I'm going to grab my annotate.com toolbar because this works natively within the Google platform. So if I wanted to go through and annotate in here, all I have to do is grab my toolbar and I can annotate over my document and I can scroll on my document and work with it this way. So you have, and you can adjust your view and all that kind of great stuff. So you do have a lot of options should you want to for 
working with PDFs in addition to, of course, uh, you always have your onboard annotation tool. That's your fail safe. It's always there. But sometimes you need to do a lot of scrolling. And so you don't want to be opening and closing that. So to review on your computer, just do a right click or a press and hold for a right click, open with Word. You can annotate natively in Word, or you can open it in Google and open it as a Google document and annotate right over that. Bring it into your Kami account if you're a Kami person or on the home screen of the panel, upload it directly into your whiteboard. Again, probably one of the easiest ways, or you can use the browser or your new line Engage Cloud app on the home screen of the panel and open it up in your Engage Cloud platform, which you can also do from your computer. So all of the options, I hope that was helpful and not overwhelming. Please reach out if you have any questions. We're here to support you and your questions drive our video library. So keep them coming and we'll talk soon. Take care.